The dramatic story of an openly gay female activist in Syria now exposed as fiction. The blogger, Amina Araf Abdullah, became an unlikely icon for the Syrian uprising. Her site gained online support as the protests became more violent. But gay girl in Damascus never existed at all. In fact, she was a he, a married 40-year-old American man studying at Edinburgh University in Scotland. I regret that you know, a lot of people feel that I led them on. I regret and yes, I regret that um, you know, a, quite a number of people are seeing my hoax as distracting from real news, real stories about Syria, and real concerns of real actual on-the-ground bloggers where people will doubt their veracity. Despite posting on Sunday that he didn't think he'd hurt anyone, Tom McMaster later seemed to acknowledge he may have caused harm. I think it's only a matter of time before somebody in the Syrian regime says, see, all our opposition is fake, it's not real. Syrian state television did run a report calling the hoax an effort to continue, quote, lies against the government. Some who followed Amina's blog say they are furious. I think that it was just, you know, terrible that, uh, that he would think that a hoax like this would be a good way to draw the world's attention to Syria. Tom McMaster created the elaborate web identity more than four years ago. He used photos from a woman's Facebook page. Jelena Lesic, a Croatian woman living in London, unwittingly became the face of a completely fictional character. Many were fooled. I had interacted with the blogger um, at some point last year, um, and I'd read the blog, and it, it seemed to be you know, a, a fairly accurate depiction of what was happening in Syria. Last week, a viral outcry spread on the web after a post on Amina's blog claiming she'd been abducted by Syrian security forces. Free Amina groups popped up on Facebook. International news groups, including CNN, picked up the story. The U.S. State Department began looking for her. But the findings, only mystery and doubt. No one had actually ever personally met this Amina. Tom McMaster was communicating as Amina only via written messages. Not only did he, uh, did he sort of draw attention away from Syrian bloggers and Syrian activists on the ground, but he also conducted a, a several month long relationship with a woman in Canada. Um, and I'm sure that she's, she feels very harmed by all of this. This fictional drama underscores the difficulty of reporting on Syria. CNN hasn't been allowed into the country to cover the unrest. Now legitimate bloggers worry that they won't be taken seriously and that the world will be more skeptical of the news they risk their lives to try to get out. Hala Garani, CNN, Atlanta.